Welcome back to our program, Light Upon Light. We were discussing a few verses from Surah Al-Baqarah, and now we are going to continue with more verses from Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, the heifer or the cow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of two angels, Haruta wa Marut, who were sent down to test people. They were teaching a knowledge which unfortunately Satan distorted it and used it for black magic. When they used to teach people, they used to say, وَاتَّبَعُوا مَا تَتْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينُ عَلَى مُلْكِ سُلَيْمَانَ وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانُ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى الْمَلَكَيْنِ بِبَابِلَ هَارُوتَ وَمَارُوتَ وما يعلمان من أحد حتى يقول إنما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر. So when the two angels were teaching people this knowledge, they used to say, we are a trial. So do not blaspheme. Do not use this knowledge to harm people. This knowledge is meant to help people rather than harming them. But unfortunately, Satan or the evil ones, they distorted the knowledge and abused it and used it for black magic and they used it to separate a husband and wife. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا هُمْ بِضَارِّينَ بِهِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ They cannot cause any harm to anybody except by Allah's permission. Unfortunately, there are such practices which are happening worldwide. And you find that many people are complaining of black magic, that someone is trying to separate this man from his wife and so on. Maybe in the future, inshallah, we'll dedicate a complete session regarding black magic and how to fight it from an Islamic perspective. Uh, verse 124 to 1 to 9, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the uh, construction of the Kaaba and the work done by Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Ismail alayhim as salatu was salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is going to be, he's been chosen as a leader, as an imam to the nations. So he said, and what about my offsprings? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لا ينال عهد الظالمين If they are righteous, yes. But if they are not righteous, if they are wrongdoers or evildoers, I'm sorry, they cannot be included in the formula. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assigned to Ibrahim and Ismail the task of purifying the Kaaba and Ibrahim السلام, was in charge of rebuilding the Kaaba, the house of Allah in Mecca. And while they were building the Kaaba, the four walls of the Kaaba, they had to go around the four walls in circle. So, وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ and remember Ibrahim and Ismail raising the foundations of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And while they were doing this, they had to go around the four walls several times until they completed the construction of the Kaaba. That's why when you go for Hajj or Umrah, you do the tawaf around the Kaaba to emulate what Ibrahim and Ismail did while they were rebuilding the Kaaba, the house of Allah in Mecca. While they were doing this, they were saying a prayer, a beautiful prayer. Rabbana taqabbal min. Oh Allah, oh our Lord, please accept from us. Innaka anta sami'u al-alim. You are the one who hears everything and who knows everything. Rabbana, our Lord, waj'alna muslimayni laka. Make us Muslims. Help us to submit our will to your will. 
ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك and from our offsprings an ummah nation generations also Muslims submit their wills to your will وأرنا مناسكنا and show us how to perform our nusuk our rituals وتب علينا and turn unto us إنك أنت التواب الرحيم because you are the one who oft returning the most merciful. Then they continued by saying, Rabbana wab'ath fihim rasulam min. Oh Allah, please send amongst them, amongst these people, a messenger of their own to rehearse your signs to them and instruct them in scripture and wisdom and sanctify them. For you are the exalted in might, the wise, Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. So this invocation was accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came from, this, from among these people to be the final and last messenger. That's why alayhi salatu wa salam used to say, أَنَا to Ibrahim وَبِشَارَةُ to Isa. I am the invocation of Ibrahim and Bisharat Isa and the glad tidings or the good news which Isa gave. In verse 132 and 133, there is a very important legacy which Ibrahim and Yaqub gave to their children. Wasiya, like when you leave a will or a legacy. As you know, Ibrahim والسلام, had the first son was Ismail and then the second son was Ishaq. And from Ishaq came Yaqub, Jacob. And, and from Jacob came Yusuf and his 11 brothers. So Ibrahim and Yaqub were very concerned about what religion would the children follow after they have died. So, وَوَصَّى بِهَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ بَنِيهِ وَيَعْقُوبُ Ibrahim and Yaqub advised their children, admonished their children, made a legacy to their children that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this religion for them so that do not die except in the state of Islam, which means absolute submission to the will of God. To die, must die as a Muslim. In verse 133 is a very interesting scene. Jacob is dying in his bed in Egypt. Surrounded by his 12 children, and among them there is Yusuf السلام, who was a prophet. Yaqub was a prophet. Their father Ishaq was a prophet. Ibrahim was a prophet. So, what was the concern of Yaqub when he was talking to his children while he was dying? His concern was, Ma ta'buduna min ba'di? What will you worship after me? Can you imagine? A prophet talking to a prophet to all his children, the whole family, three, when you look at it, they're all prophets. مَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ بَعْدِي They said, نَعْبُدُ إِلَهَكَ وَإِلَهَ آبَائِكَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ إِلَهَ وَاحِدًا وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ We worship your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors, Ibrahim وإسماعيل وإسحاق, one God. And we submit ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ And we Submit our will to the will of Allah as Muslims. Thank you for listening. And inshallah, we will continue in the next episode with Surah Al-Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.